Hello and welcome back to my channel. As promised, I am back with another Fragrance of the Month video. Um, these again are TJ Maxx finds that I got really lucky with, by the way. Um, so, these are Dolce & Gabbana perfumes. They were not on my list at first. Um, like I said before, I just started collecting perfumes this year. So I have an extensive list of, I guess, wish lists, I guess you could say. Um, so I had went to, this is back in the spring, I went to Ulta just to test out a few things to see what I like, things that were on my list. I believe at that time I was testing out like Chanel perfumes, I think it was Chance, and something else that I wanted to smell um, that were more springtime perfumes before I bought them. So while I was there, the guy, the salesperson in the fragrance department was just, you know, asking me what I was looking for. So I said, oh, it was C actually, C is what I went to test. So it was, it was Chanel and C. Those are the two that I went to test out. So I just asked him, I said, oh, well, I already found what I'm looking for, but what do you recommend? And he's like, well, let me show you this. Ocean Gabbana has this perfume out that smells really good. And I was like, okay, I'll try it. Like, I don't think, I had already purchased the Dolce & Gabbana fragrance that I already wanted, which was the only one, which I'm wearing out right now because it is still so bomb. Um, so he showed me Dolce & Gabbana's Shine, and it smelled so good. And I wanted to buy it, but I was like, I just found this out. Like, I still have this long list of things I need to buy before I even think about this one. So I left it there, but put it on my list. It's at the bottom of the list, but I put it on my list. And I don't know if you guys remember before I mentioned that I have a Scentbox subscription. Oddly enough, there wasn't Shine on there, but they had the other one. So it's a full line. It's like, I think, a line of six. But they had the Garden in there. So, of course, I had that for like the month of whatever month that was. And that one smells really good, too. Shine is still up here, but Garden is like right under. So I got that, and I actually ordered it twice um, through the subscription. So that's what I've been wearing. And now that, you know, it's getting colder outside, it's not really a scent that I wear right now because, like I said, it's more of a springtime slash summer scent. So I just don't reach for it right now, but it smells really good. So I was at TJ Maxx not so long ago. That's the day I went. I told you guys on my lunch break and picked up a bunch of things that I did not need. Um, no, 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 I'm lying. I went to TJ Maxx. So I was having like a, I was in a mood. I was just having a, a rough time so I had decided to get cute I got cute and I took myself out to dinner by myself it was great and then after that I was like you know what I'm just I think I, had, I needed to go to Target but TJ Maxx was next door so best of both worlds so I stopped in TJ Maxx and I think I went to find I need a black bag because I don't I don't have like a black everyday bag so I was like, let me just see what they have in here because because I travel for work I need like a purse to hold all the crap that I have going on so I found a bag it was great that's her over here um and then I was walking around as usual because that's what you do in TJ Maxx walking around and they had the two I think it's like two point something I don't know I'm acting like I don't have the bottle they had the garden at TJ Maxx and I was so excited so this is her this is the garden so I just got it and it was already getting cold so I wasn't about to like wear it out but this is a 2.5 ounce I need to see what what the um, cost for full price is but let's talk about it first it's the cutest little bottle I know how I am about bottles and packaging and everything the box is great but I love the flower at the top it's really really pretty and I love the little bow and this one is just the bottles are really pretty color so I can give you guys the notes on this you can probably get away with this in the fall but for me when it comes to fall scents I like I like can nah, yeah that's where you can wear your more gourmand scents I feel like because you're not gonna get hot your body's not gonna be sweaty like you're you can get away with that and it's still gonna smell good on your skin so let me see give me a minute give me a minute that's garden okay so it's a flor floral fruity gourmand fragrance. Um, top notes are magnolia, mandarin, orange, and neroli. Middle notes are coconut, frangipani, if I'm saying it right, or frangipani, and lang lang. And then your base notes are vanilla, absolute, almond milk, and sandalwood. And it just smells, it's like, it's so good. 
it's like so that that first that first spray is a lot it's a lot going on like you can't even it's like everything you smell it all and then that's it's a little powdery as it dries down but it smells so good and yeah so this one was I got it for 60 I think the retail price if I'm not mistaken is like 120 but let me sure but I was so excited like especially for it to be a larger bottle um when did this come out this one this is the older one though this one came out in 2018 but it's still great okay so this is actually the largest bottle that they have um well according to Ulta and it is $122 so I got this for more than half off because it was $59.99 at TJ Maxx and that's why I always say check first check check the websites check TJ Maxx check I'm sure Marshalls whoever like you'll find some great stuff for like half off so Dolce Garden great buy for springtime summer transition into fall you can get away with this in the fall however you do you whatever if you feel like you can uh you wear whatever you want to wear when you want to wear it. Next one, the one I was most excited about because, like I said, Shine was the one that I wanted. I did not get as lucky with this one um, because they only had the small bottle. So I'm going to go see if I could just go and get a second small bottle if they still have it. Because I only saw it at one, um, one of the TJ Maxx's and it was just in my work territory. So it's not really by me, but I don't mind driving to go get it. Um, so this is the one I said I was out on my lunch break trying to find a stupid beauty blender that no one was having, that no one had at the moment. And this how this how TJ Maxx gets you. I went in there, still bought, got stuff I had no business buying or didn't really need to get. But you know in TJ Maxx they got, they put stuff in the aisles. So you can be going to check out and you think you're done and then you get in, you go through the stupid aisles and they got stuff on both sides. <laughs> like that's how they get you. So... I was checking out minding my business and I saw and I even passed like where they had the fragrance so you know it'd be a mess in those aisles stuff don't be where it's supposed to be but I had passed the fragrance I looked so I was prepared either way so I looked and nothing caught my eye so I'm walking up almost checking out and I see this little yellow box and I'm like that's not it that ain't it lo and behold there she was Dolce Shine it's past the season for me to wear it, but she'll be ready for next year. Um, and this this one came out in 2020, so this is towards the end of the line. I'm not. I haven't smelled any of the other ones, so these are the only two that I know of. But let me give you guys the notes on this. Let's see. I'm not prepared, y'all. Um, so this is a fruity floral. Um, like I said, launched in 2020. Top notes are mango, which is amazing because you guys know I'm a fruity, like citrus fruit type of girl. Mango, quince or quince, I don't know what that is, and grapefruit. Grapefruit is my favorite scent. It's one of my favorite fruits. So they got me right there. Middle notes are tuberose, jasmine, solar notes, orange blossom, ozonic notes, and sea salt. Base notes are white musk, white, uh, white musk, white woods, and Australian sandalwood. And this is everything. It is everything. It smells so good. I'm gonna have to. I messed that all up. It's just so happy. It's definitely a mood booster. Like this one, this one is energizing. Like it, you smell it and you just, it just makes you happy. You don't know how I feel about, you know, since boosting your mood. This is a mood booster. It just smells like spring. That's exactly what it smells like. It smells like springtime. Like, fruits and flowers and smiles and puppies and kittens it is the best thing and a cute little bottle this one was $39.99 um let me see what what this is only a one out so it probably retails for like $70 but let me let me be sure 76 I was close so 76 I got it for 40 not quite uh half percent off but Close enough, close enough. I'm sad I didn't have the bigger bottle in this one. So like I said, I'll probably go back and get another one. So these are the fragrances of the month. Dolce & Gabbana Garden and Shine. 
shine I would put first if you're considering buying these. Definitely check your TJ Maxx first. If not TJ Maxx, then I know Belk always has, I think this one on sale. This one goes on sale a lot. I don't know if people don't like it. I love it. I think it smells great. Definitely not as great as this, but it smells great. But I feel like this one is always on sale. I think Belk had this one on sale before. But there are sales, nothing like a TJ Maxx sale. So, $40. $60 retails for $122 retails for $76 so if you go to Ulta if you don't mind dropping coins like that go ahead but I'm always here for a deal um, eventually if this one didn't go on sale I would have paid full price but this one not so much because I absolutely love this one like he that guy knew his stuff like this was everything I don't know if he knew he could just sense what I liked but this was everything so yeah so here are your Fragrances of the month, and this is your second one for December. So I'm doing good. I did what I said I was going to do, and like I said, I'm I'm trying my best to be here consistent. Hopefully, nothing else happens and it has to pull me away. But this has been great. I've been I've been loving these, so I can't wait till springtime because this one I'm wear it out. I'm going to wear it out. So I'm definitely gonna need another one. I would, I would. Once this is gone, if I have to pay full price for this, I would. This is worth paying full price. Like, I can suck it up and pay full price for this. This one will last me um, forever. And let me clear something up. When I, I keep saying I'm not paying full price, the reason I say that is because I always buy the largest bottle. So, full price can be a grip, like, depending on what you're getting. So, it's not that I don't want to pay full price for a one ounce bottle. But I always buy the full price, the full price, the the largest bottle, so that I don't have to keep buying them over and over. I I switch out my scents so much that I don't have one scent that I'm just like wearing out. Like they last me forever. Like most of my fragrances, most of them like are barely like it's like I've never even used them. Some of them is because I had the travel size from the scent box, but I don't know. So. In my mind, that's my theory, you buy the biggest bottle, it's going to last you forever. By the time it's empty, you're not going to mind buying it again because it lasts so long. So that's why I say I don't pay, I don't like, I don't like, I'm not going to say I don't. I do not like to pay full price for my fragrances because I always buy the largest bottle. So between two and a half, because this was the largest they had was two, two and a half, but of course I didn't pay full price for this. Um, but most of my fragrances are like, three plus three ounces and some change so those are they're not cheap bottles so um a lot of them are full price though um but once i realized that i can get online and find it somewhere cheaper then it's like why pay full price when somebody has a sale that's more money you can put towards your next fragrance so that's that's my logic behind this but i hope you enjoyed these um they're great i'm gonna eventually I have a little Sephora for some foundation soon. So I'm going to see if I can find the rest of the line and, see, and test those out. And if I find one that I like, I'll come back and tell you about it. I doubt I'll find something better than this. Um, so I can't say I'm going to purchase it. But I'll come back and tell you. And if it's in TJ Maxx or if I like it enough to search online for it, then I'll let you know. But these two, these two are amazing. They, they do have like a roll sense in one. And I'm into roll sense. Um, so I do want to try that one. So that one might give this one a run for, for its money. I don't know. I'm going to try it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did. I love the bottles. They make me happy. And yellow, anything makes me happy. It's not my favorite color, but it's, it's, yellow just makes you happy. So yeah, um, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.